Hey everyone, it's Sue here, and over on the Facebook group called December Daily Inspiration Group Anything Goes, um, Poet Spice, who I'm sure all of you or most of you know for sure, uh, she's been posting some challenges, and um, she's just really got me in the mood for Christmas. So I went and I pulled out all of my Christmas albums and December dailies since 2010 when I first started scrapbooking. And I just wanted to give you an overview of, of what I have and what I've done over the years. So I'm going to go through these rather quickly. Um, if you want to participate in any of the challenges, they're not swaps. Um, they're just challenges to get your mojo going and, and to get out your stash and to use it up. And um, so hopefully you'll come on over. I'll have the link below to the December Daily Inspiration Group Facebook page. Okay, so I just put you in my tripod and I'm actually going to see if I can lift this up a little bit. Okay. All right, doing good, and I'm in my kitchen, so I'm in a spot I'm not normally at, so the lighting is not the best. All right, so I think, I'll, let me just move these real quick. So back in 2010, uh, no, 2009, actually it is, not 2010. 2009, my granddaughter was born, and so the very first album for Christmas that I made is right here so it's a 12 by 12 scrapbook album and it's all Christmas so even from way 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 back I always had a separate album just for Christmas now I don't know when the December daily actually started I know it's um, from Allie Edwards and um, I'm not sure what year it started, but I guess I didn't know about it in the very beginning. Um, and then here is my 2010 album. So this is a smaller one. So this is all 6x6 six six paper. So just, you know, your basic scrapbook. And then I don't know what I was thinking, but I have three albums here for 2011. <laughs> <laughs> three for one year I have this really tiny one which is really super cute somebody gave me this little album so maybe I don't know maybe I just wanted to use it up but anyways so I hope you can see okay so there's this little one for 2011 and then a medium size this is creative memories And so there's this one, and then there's the big one, and this is also Creative Memories. So this, I don't know if any of you have this, but this was one of my favorite albums of theirs. And so I am trying to do this, like I said, in my kitchen with, and I have this lamp here, and I don't know, whatever. Um, so again, this is 12 by 12, typical scrapbook, right? Okay, so that was 2011. Now, 2012, this is an album. This is the um, Simple Stories, and these had just come out at that time. And, oh my goodness, I was so excited to get this and to do it. And, you know, and it could be, um, I, like, maybe I didn't know that there was December Daily yet, but... This wasn't made as a December daily, but it's just like one. So, so this is for 2012, and here I've got my thickers going. And um, this is actually the kind of album that I think I'm going to make for 2016. I feel like going back to my roots of scrapbooking, but I don't want to do... Um, a 12 by 12 because I think that's like just too much for me so like here's all like Christmas cards and stuff 
There's a big bunch of them. Some extra photos I have back there. So I really, I remember this. I remember working in this and I really enjoyed it. So I think this is the size and, you know, maybe I'll see if Simple Stories has an, um, a similar size album. But not the same one. I don't want to do the same one. But that size. Okay, so for 2013, what I did was I made, well, let me show you this first. So this is the actual um, December Daily. And I have little charms going on here. And some seam binding. And so this says bliss down here. I bought that at Michael's and they were just sticky letters that spelled out the word bliss. And this particular chipboard album was five bucks and you actually got two of them. There was like a smaller one that came with it at Michael's. So you don't have to spend a lot of money, um, but I decorated each and every page and you can see the dates. So I have the dates there with little um, stickers. So this was a lot of fun too. I found this one a little bit challenging only because um, there wasn't a lot of room and there and it's not like you could add pages to this so I did find that a little bit challenging. So you see I have a lot of like the little pocket things going on here um, and so this, uh, there's a card that comes out. So what I did here was I took um, a leftover page protector from, you know, this size album and I put it here. So I have two photos and then a pocket for, for a card. And so that's it. So that is 2013. And I did enjoy that. That was a lot of fun to do. And the same year I did this, this, and I've used it every year. So I've used it 13, 14, 15, and now I'll use it for 2016. So what it is, is what I'm going to be buying people and keeping the receipts in here and a record of what I'm doing. So I have some receipts here. You can see there's receipts all throughout and it just helps me keep track of what I'm doing and for who. And you know, here's a little cute little thing to shove um, some whatever, receipts or whatever. And then I have these little pieces of paper I stuck together with uh, temporary um, scrapbook uh, adhesive and and so that I could have a new one to work with every year. So that was this. And what this is, these pieces right here, you know from Michael's when you get the photo boxes at Michael's? And like look at the, the shape of just this one, right? This is those cards that come in those boxes. So I made them into a journal. I just, I made them into a journal and I've gotten so much use out of this thing. I love it. So I will use it again this year for sure. And it's nice because I can look back and see, you know, what I bought, what I spent on people, who I bought for, that type of thing. So that's that. Now, 2014, this is probably my favorite all-time cover and I do have a video for this. I probably have a video for a few of these, so I'll try to find them and put them down below so that you have the links. But this was just a white smash book. White with the craft spine. And oh my gosh, I went to town on the cover of it. And oh, I just love it. I just love the way it came out. But now get a load of this. Let me reach over here. Sorry. There are no pages in this book. <laughs> it is empty. <laughs> and the reason being it was so chunky, I, I couldn't do anything with it. So I ended up tearing out, they're literally tearing out all, uh, oh, you know what? They're not torn. I must have, wait, let me see. What the heck did I do? Oh, I tore this. Okay, and I was able to take them out 
without tearing them, but they're, you can see the, the holes here for where it was in there. And so this has my all of my pages for 2014. It actually fit into this nice Christmas box perfectly. So these are all the pages. Look how fat that is. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> how does all of that fit into a binder this big? And I know it's dark, and I apologize. I really do. But it is pouring outside. It's thundering. And it is just dark. Dark, dark, dark. And then last year, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I grabbed the box from Michael's. And this box here. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to do what I want, when I want, how I want. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. So as the month went on, and I usually start with Thanksgiving. Um, so I do start before December. Um, but I just did exactly what I wanted to do. So I have some jelly plated papers, doilies. Um, this was just a pretty piece of paper that I had. So I didn't want to throw it away. So I used it almost like a, um, like a project life card, but it's just a, it's just a piece of paper. Oh, you know what it was? It was an envelope. Here's the back of it. And I didn't want to throw it away. It was just an envelope. And then, um, in one of the um, challenges over at the December Daily Inspiration Group Facebook page. We made some 3x4 and 4x6 cards. And so this is one of those cards. And just, you know, just whatever I wanted, when I wanted, how I wanted, no stress. Certainly was not done every day by any means. Not at all. So that was how I did last year's. But again, actually, I would do this again. This was really a lot of fun. But I feel like getting back into, like I say, the more of a scrapbook style. So we'll see. We'll see where it ends up. There's a lot of beautiful um, collections out there. And so I'm going to check it out. But this is kind of the size I'm thinking of. It's not overwhelming, yet there's flexibility. You can add pages to it. Look at this. I had an extra photo, and I just made a hole, and I added it in there. So I do like the flexibility of this as well. So that's it. So I just wanted to do a quick overview, and please come on over to the December Daily Inspiration Group dash anything goes Facebook page and join in, in the challenge that Jamie that poet spice has has um has posted over there she has an event and it's just fun it's just fun so that's all I can say and I hope to see you over there and um I guess that's about it all right well Christmas in July and August and September and October <laughs> Anyways, okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.